this is 19 days uh, since I have gotten uh, the uh, hornworms and I'm noticing there is starting to be a little bit of mold in uh, one of the containers so I've got to get that cleaned out and there, what's left is starting to look pretty straggly that this is one of the biggest ones um, that um, that's left and I doubt, I don't know whether Sparky's going to be able to handle this but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it now and see if Sparky will polish that off but it's it's a bit big I have some little seedlings uh, from our greenhouse uh, in there. I didn't chop those up. I just thought maybe uh, he will. Um, the rest I, I chopped up some romaine and grated up some carrot real fine uh, in there. Uh, and it's on a leaf of uh, romaine. So I've got the carrot romaine and the little seedlings from, the, uh, from over in the greenhouse. doubt that he eats all of that. He's already had two or three smaller size. So um, he has really been eating heartily. <laughs> but soon these are going to be gone and I'm going to have to go slug hunting and I uh, do have the super worms and some wax worms but they don't keep well in the summer. They don't really, I don't consider them keeping well even in the fridge unless you have uh, a fridge that can keep it between 50 and 60 degrees. You can put it in the door and cover it up with a towel and they'll do somewhat okay but uh, they're really uh, they work really well in the winter kept at 50 to 60 degrees. wanted to show you a look of stuff to the gills. Right, Spark? Stuff to the gills. They don't even want to come over my way. <laughs> no thanks. I've had enough. I'm going under the yam plant. I'm going away from you. Well, today is the 21st of April, and uh, Sparky's out here enjoying himself. He was until I come out and pestered him and opened the door. So now he figures he's got to go in, I guess. And uh, I know he's not hungry because he ate huge, huge amounts of the, of the hornworms. I'm really going to have my work cut out getting him to eat um, the stuff they're supposed to eat, the fruits and vegetables. I just want to show you guys real quick here how much these little nubbies that I filmed a few days ago, how much more has come up and not uh, within a month, oh my, they're going to be way up here, huge. So, uh, Spark, why don't you go up your ramp, hang out, enjoy this sun. Because when they get started again with the chemtrails, I don't know, they've just given us a break today for some reason. It's the day after Easter. What do you think of it? We'll take it and say thank you. Hardly any chemtrails today, Spark.